In this short video, we're going to go through the customer features and I'm going to show you some of the usability and functionality of the customer dashboard. Now initially we did set up that last client and we'll go ahead and click on that client. Um, we have Dave Deshane down here. There is some things we can add. We can add some photos and the way that I usually do that is I'll go ahead and upload a bulk load or you can do them one by one on your iPad or your smartphone. So we'll select this. Uh, we've got one here. I usually download those and what I'll do is I'll rename these. Rename to Deshane Roof and hit enter. It's going to rename these and we're going to go ahead and highlight these and click open. So just highlight the four, click open. It will automatically bring all those photos in for you and we'll just copy and paste the name because you want to do this for each one of these. This takes a second to bulk load them up. It resizes the document. So if you have anything, you know, the max size is four megs on an image, it will resize it down to 400 by 400. And what I recommend is you put four photos in to start with because this will fill up the back page of a contract. Four photos fit perfectly on a page and I'll show you how that lays out uh, once we create this estimate. Uh, any more than that it's going to create a fifth and sixth page. So you want to just pick four. What I recommend is get all four corners of the house. Walk around the house at the farthest corner, the four corners and get a good image shot from each one of them. That way there you can see the house. Now you get all four of those and again I just copied that that text and dropped it in there and click Save. It's going to automatically put those in. You'll see images added. So let's go back to that customer again. Click on Customers and you can either go to Page 2 and it's right there. And let's take a look at the photos have been added. So they're automatically added to that customer file. Nice clean looking photos. And to create an estimate, it's going to be real simple. We'll add estimate. And the good thing is you can, there's a couple of things to do here. You can actually look at a Google map. You can go ahead and start with adding products in. But the easiest thing to do right here is click on copy address. Automatically fills the form fields automatically for you. Make sure you complete every dialog box because if you don't, it won't save it. Uh, you can you can add this to a different user if you have a sales guy you want to send these off to. So you can send that off to David or admin. I'm just going to send that to David and you'll be able to look at the photo and get some directions afterwards and just click the apply button. That'll save that client. You have to do that before you can add products because it's going to give this a special ID number which is going to be 50 on this one. So at that point you'll have job description, job images, estimate terms, payment schedule, job expenses, and a signature of your customer. So this is what's added when your customer signs. So let's go to add item. And I did add an item to prior. Um, what I like to do is my standard roofing package. And if you click this little select product, it loads it automatically. I like to have my little description of uh, what my job entails. And you can do this for any any of your products. It doesn't need to you know, be anything special, just a complete summary. And I bid on by the job. Some guys break it down piece by piece and you can do that. You can do individual material cost, price override. You can really do shipping and handling, taxed, and whatever you want for any of these. But for me, I like to do just a complete price for the job is 14,900. And that puts that in there. I'll click apply, saves the record in there and hit save. So now I've added this product to the to the customer. Um, let's go job description. What I usually do is just copy this job description, and what I'll do is put an actual color in with that with that description. So copy job description. It's really the same thing, right? So Control V for paste, and we'll put weathered wood. Weatherwood shingles. So that's all in there. So I'll hit uh, the save button. It'll keep it right on that same page. Jobs in there. So if we're going to add this afterwards, email if you want to email. Photos, notes, files. That's all part of the next payment. So again, let's go back to the estimate. Uh, we'll click on the estimate again. What I want to look at is 
the payment term, double check everything. We are roofing and hit save apply. So you really don't need to double check everything. I just do that. Um, and at that point, your customer estimate has been completed and we can send that off the way it is by going to print and email template. Now automatically your customer is gonna get that email template to their email, uh, usually within less than five seconds. And there's the email just came in. So we'll double click on that. And again, the estimate sheet is there. It gives you the client, uh, the front page, the back page, the signature of the person, the salesperson. And if the client is there with you, you can have them sign that photos and of course your job text. So all that's in there. And look how nice that looks with the four photos on the back has a total amount get the client to sign right on the iPad and put that in there as well so that's a professional contract ready to go and that's how quick that's done now again it did send out the references list that I had in there and also the uh, the insurance liability that we put in there so that's all in there as well and that's how easy that works and we'll see you in the next video